G'day, you're Rotten Lot, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we have this tiny little headphone amp from Flammer. This is the uh, FX20. It is awesome. It has got a mountain of uh, features. Check this out. It's got 52 different amp models, 14 modulation effects, 5 reverbs, 5 delays, 40 different drum grooves, which you can, you know, slide around and uh, change the tempo on and that sort of stuff. Uh, 40 different drums so you can practice along with them. Um, it's got USB recording, so what you're actually hearing today is coming straight from the actual unit itself uh, via USB-C straight into my door with nothing else. This is just a unit straight into my recording studio. Uh, it's also got this awesome app which you can see on the side here, which lets you sort of, you know, select things, change things, muck around. That's powered by USB. It's, it's also got a battery in it which lets you run it for four entire hours, which is awesome. So, you know, you can just charge it up with your phone charger or whatever you're using and then go and play for four hours, which is pretty cool. So the way this thing works is it just plugs into your um, guitar, into your normal guitar input, and you just plug your headphones in into the headphone socket away you go. But today, like I said, I'm using it uh, via the USB port as a USB interface straight into the door, which is just amazing. Oh, the other thing the app does, which is really cool, is it um, lets you save presets and upload them to the cloud for other people to use. And you can also download presets that other people have done onto it. You can save it into this huge bank of uh, presets and then flick between them on the uh, on the side of the unit, so you don't always need to have it hooked up to the phone. If you don't want to, there's some really cool sounds in here, like really cool sounds. Awesome. Super cool. So anyway, the uh, basic sort of sound that I landed on, where is that crazy diamond one? I just like this as just like a basic overdrive sort of sound. <laughs> So, this is what you do. This is your amp section here. You can just turn it on and off. Hit the little tool button on the side there. There's all your settings that you can muck around with. So you can just turn it on and off now. In here is this huge list of uh, 54 amps. There are so many amps to go through. At the moment, this is on the Vox AC30. There's Fenders, there's Diesels, there's Marshalls, there's anything you can think of, it's in there, trust me. I'll go through all of these amps, even though there's 54 of them in a separate video. It'll be long, but it'll be fun. Now, the mod, See how it's see how the delay and the reverb pedal are coloured and the uh, mod one isn't. If you just touch it with your finger, you can't see me touching it with my finger, but you can see it going on and off. It turns yellow. That's what you've got to do to turn the phaser on. Then there's a heap of different, um, you know, uh, modulation effects to choose from. I like the vibrato a lot. And again, you push the little uh, the little button there with the wrench on it to uh, you know adjust it. Now, same with the delay. Just turn it on and off with your finger. You can hit the little uh, button there to adjust the levels. Of it. Uh, 
back end, there's all the different, the five different types of delay, and then the reverb is the same. There's the five different types of reverb. It's pretty cool. And there's the controls for it as well. Now I've just noticed that, uh, especially with the delays and the reverbs, while I've got it plugged in going to the com the uh, door via the USB cable, I notice that these are sound like they're in stereo, which is pretty cool. Let's go back up and change this flanger to a chorus pedal, and see if it's uh, in stereo as well. Sounds like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's definitely stereo. Uh, so, the other thing this thing does, which is pretty cool, down, down the very bottom of the screen, you can see the battery level. You can see my battery is full. That's because I've got the USB-C cable plugged in. It's been charging for hours while I've been mucking around with it. But down here, there's also the drums. <laughs> Probably should have gone back and turned a bit of stuff back down before I did that. Let's turn my reverb down. Go back to tools down the bottom there. Press play. There's all the different types. So there's lots of different little beats that you can choose from there. Then, so up you see up the top there, the blue drum we got there next to it, of course, is the tuner. Oh, there's nothing more interesting than watching a guy tune his guitar on YouTube. But anyway, there you go. You can also um, adjust or, and mute the signal so it doesn't come out when you're tuning. And you can also adjust your actual bass line A440 there as well. Which is handy, you know, if you jump for a shanty and you want a, a weird G tuning, that's fine. Now, up the top there, you can also see a little cloud. Um, the little cloud uh, is where you save your presets to that you create yourself, or you can download presets that other guys have made or and download them onto uh, your unit as well. So I think the general theory with this thing is, is that you connect it to the app, and you make all the presets you could possibly want in the whole wide world, you load them onto it, and then when you're away from your phone or your computer or your app or whatever you're doing at the time, you use the buttons on the side, the volume, the up and down, the drum button, everything to, uh, you know, flick through your own presets, which is really, really amazing. So, you know, if the baby's asleep or your wife works night shift, like mine does, you can just, uh, you know, plug this thing into the bottom of your guitar, put your headphones in and uh, play away, which is super awesome. So um, I think this is a really great unit. It's only like 110 bucks, um, which means that's here in Australia, which means it's probably, um, you know, a lot cheaper everywhere else in the world because Australian dollar isn't worth very much. But I think this is a fantastic um, little unit that's very easy to use you can see here as i scroll through everything how simple it is um i will be back with more videos on this to run through the amps and all the different effects in it as well um the only thing i have noticed um because i like to sort of tell you anything negative if there's negative things not that it's a super negative but there's no drives in here at all there's no fuzzers no drives no boosts um so i think they're relying on you to use the amps for all your drives and that sort of stuff because it comes first in the chain and then you go into your mod and your delay and your reverb so i think they're relying on us to have no drive pedals at all but just get all the drive sounds we want from um all the amp models in there which is cool until you want a fuzz and there's no fuzz so um anyway that's it 
I hope you enjoyed this. If you're looking for a new way to practice silently with some really good quality sounds, um, I think this Flamer FX20 portable intelligent uh, headphone amplifier is the way to go. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that. See you in the next video. Bye.